The third and final point that you mentioned um, was all around internal and external fraud, which is certainly a, a massive growing concern for organisations. Um, certainly um, fraud is on the rise exponentially across every single sector. Um, so what what does the impact look like look like there and how common is it from what you've seen so far yeah. so th this is out of the three uh points on the slide this is probably the one that that um has um the biggest can have the biggest impact across the organization I, i'm not saying that fraud happens um a lot but it's definitely as you said it's definitely on the rise and both from external attacks as well as internal fraud as well. So both uh, needs to be mitigated against as the as the business. And um, just just to, just to take the analogy that you know, I, I've I've joined this new organisation and isn't it wonderful? Tom's sitting there and he's and the organisation says that's fine, Tom. There's the bank details. Please log in and start making these payments. And you take that yourself as an, an individual, you probably wouldn't share your bank details with your closest friends or even family. And here's an organization who's quite happily sharing their, their bank details. Now, of course, that organization will put controls and measures around it. But what happens if that, that, that peer person was then colluding or even if they had found a way around that and was actually um, uh, trying to defraud the organization? Yeah, it's so true. I mean, uh, the, a few weeks ago, actually, I was doing one of these internal cybersecurity training courses that, that we have to complete every now and again. And there was a point on there around um, high risk users. Um, and high risk users aren't necessarily someone who is going to attempt to defraud your organization or they're, they're bad at their job and they're going to make loads of mistakes. It's people who have access to sensitive um, systems that if that, uh, that those login credentials were intercepted, then it would have a huge impact on the organization. So the more people who essentially have access to these, what are deemed high risk systems, the more likelihood there is just by maths that you're gonna be susceptible to things like fraud occurring and, and breaches taking place. Um, so it's definitely something to consider about how widely that information is shared and how widely those systems are accessed and used. Yeah, for, for sure. Um, I, I actually, th just this morning, I received an email from um, a, a new customer. They're a law firm, they're a UK law firm. And if I can just quote what they 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 put in their, their message so this was around the conversation was around um looking at different payment types and the consideration was they've got a fairly high volume of payments mm -hmm. going through as faster payments and chaps but actually they have a number of us dollar payments and the quote that they, they this straight from the email is the purpose of this project is to minimize our risk and exposure on high volume and and high value payments. International US dollars doesn't represent a high risk given the various complex, sorry, does rep represent a high risk given the various complexity stages involved in the payment process here. So it needs to be an integral part of the initial rollout. So that the, the point there is, is that actually it's, even though these were relatively small uh, in terms of volume so in other words it's not the first point which is we've got a team of people who are processing payments this is around the risk to the business because there are treasury payments and high value and even though there's a relatively low volume of these payments maybe one or two a day they don't want to take the risk of of having even the, tr the treasury person accessing the bank portal to process them and also the risk of those those payments being made incorrectly they want to mitigate that and put an automated process in place. So exactly to the point we're, we're talking about.